there Space Cats! It's me Jules with another video on illustrating and publishing. I recently brought you a video on making a document and formatting your file if you are using InDesign to make your PDF to send to a printer or a print-on-demand service. This video is highlighting the export function. You might have already made up your document and might just want to check you are saving your PDF in the same way that I do. You might also want to know how to send your document to a publisher if you are not responsible for the text and typography. I'll show you how to do that too. Righty tighty, gird your loins and let's get started. Let's assume that you are using InDesign. I also have Affinity Publisher and will likely make a similar video using that in the near future. I'm going to show you how I save my file, although there may be slight variations in the options that would suit you better. Give my go a try or you can fiddle around with the options. Your pages will look like this when you have uploaded all of your images and text. Well, when I say look like this, I'm hoping that it will be your own work and not mine. Obvious statement of the year, completed. Make sure that you have saved it in the normal way with save or save as, and then go to export. The hotkeys are control E. Make yourself a dedicated folder for this, otherwise you end up with a messy folder, just like this. Note to self, must do some file housework. I've got a folder called For Printing. Give it a name and then go to the drop down menu at the bottom of this box. It will call up 10 or so options. Adobe PDF Interactive, PDF Print, EPS, EPUB and so on. If you are making an ebook, well I usually use EPUB, so you can use that one unless you have been advised differently. However, I'm sending this one off to print, so I choose PDF Print. Press Save and you'll go to this page. This has all the specifications you'll need to check through. Under General, this shows the description of your choice so far and you can change any of these. In the top menu, it currently says High Quality Print, but if you change any of the options, it will say something like High Quality Print Modified. There are other options, including at the bottom, Smallest File Size. This is useful if you are just sending it off to someone to check something, but not if you are sending to print through a printer or a print-on-demand service, because the quality will be awful. Under the section that says Pages, choose All. The only reason you'll need to select the ranges is if you are sending a few spreads to someone for some sort of work. So choose All, and under Options, tick optimize for fast web view and make sure that you tick view pdf after exporting the next menu is compression and i usually leave all of these settings as they are making sure the image quality is set to maximum now it's marks and bleeds if your printer has requested that you show the crop marks or any other registration marks, you can check these boxes. But for sending to a print on demand service, you won't need these. I always leave this unchecked. I don't change anything on output. I don't want any color conversion. And I don't change anything in the advanced menu. Security is where you can set a password so that at the other end they can only open it if they have that password. I don't think this is usually necessary and it can be downright annoying if you send it off to print 
for a print-on-demand service like KDP. Make sure you leave this unticked. Next is your summary to look over. Next to the options is an arrow. You can click on this and it will show you your choices. If you're happy, press export. Remember way back in the process you ticked view PDF after exporting. So after a few moments thinking about it, your device will show you a page that looks like this. Remember, it will only look like this. It will actually show your own work. If you want to see two pages together like you will in a book, you'll need to go to view, page display and two page scrolling. That will give you the book view. Happy days! If you're working with the publishing house and they have asked you to make the illustrations, you might be wondering if you can send them as a PDF. Well, the short answer is probably not. You may have inserted some text to make sure that it fits in the spaces you've left in or around your images. And the publisher probably wants to use their own designer to choose the typeface and font and place it with the right spacing. What you'll need to do is send them the Photoshop files with all the layers. That means they'll be big files and you won't be able to email them. The publisher should have a business account with someone like WeTransfer, so ask them to send you the upload link. That way you can send a huge amount of data, as your files will likely be in large megabyte amounts. In my experience, this has been a fairly secure way to send files, and they keep you updated as to where you send it and when or if the recipient has downloaded it. So my question to you to answer in the comments is, when are you going to upload your book? If this sort of video is helpful, then let me know, or if there's anything else that you think I could help with. If you'd like further artist tutorials, I have a variety of short courses that will help you. There are real-time sessions looking at painting, drawing, and marker pens, among others. And if you're keen on producing your own book, there is a more in-depth course on what you need to know about self-publishing a book with illustrations. That covers making key decisions, how to make layouts and dummy books, rhythm and pacing, as well as several tutorials on illustrating a book and a look at the tech. You can either hop over to my website or join me on Patreon for more information. Go on, give it a go! Next week I will be looking at what is in a name and what can go horribly wrong. I'm off to make myself some pumpkin soup and get all cosy. I'll see you next week. Nanu nanu.